How's it going everybody? This is Dakota from the Techies World and happy 2017. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday season no matter what you celebrate. Hope it was a good one and I wish you all a fantastic 2017. So to start off the new year we're going to do a new installment of the Is It Still Useful series and today we're going to be taking a look at Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Now Mountain Lion came out back in July of 2012 so it is almost four years old now and uh, so what I thought we'd do is we're going to take a look at Mountain Lion the same thing that we've done in in the other videos in this series we're going to run down a list of certain things that the operating system must be able to do if it's going to be still classified as useful for my testing I decided to run Mountain Lion on this 2012 15 inch MacBook Pro this is the uh, computer that I use basically every single day. This is my main computer. It acts as my daily computer and it's also the computer that I use to edit and upload every single one of these videos. And the reason I chose this computer over some of the other computers I have, I have a 13 inch 2012 MacBook Pro. However, the reason I chose this because this computer has a SSD in it. Uh, it's a solid state drive. There's no hard drive in this anymore. Uh, I have taken the hard drive out and it has been replaced with a solid state drive. It's a Samsung 850 Pro uh, SSD, by the way, um, just in case anybody was wondering. Uh, so that's the SSD that's inside of here, complete solid state, faster all around, and it also has its max 16 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigs of RAM, that is the most any MacBook Pro model can take, and uh, so this has already been maxed out to its maximum amount of RAM. Because of those two upgrades, that makes this computer a lot faster. Uh, versus having 4 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM and having an old slow rotating hard drive. So that's the reason why I decided to use this machine. Now what I had to do because ultimately this machine is running the current release of Mac OS which at the time I'm making this video it is Mac OS Sierra and uh, so, so since this machine is running Sierra and I didn't want to lose anything even though I do use Time Machine uh, to back up my entire computer I basically split the disk and there's a separate partition on here for Mountain Lion. All right, so do you guys think it's going to be useful? Enough of this banter fodder. There's a nice word for you, banter fodder. Let's get into it. So the first thing I thought I'd do is test web browsers. We have a choice of these browsers, Safari, Firefox, and Google Chrome. Now it should be noted that all three of these browsers are out of date. While I performed the basic web browser test, testing each browser under various websites, I also decided to throw in some browser benchmarks just for the heck of it. First off, we're going to start with the speed battle test. As you can see, Firefox is the clear winner in this test, benchmarking a 1220.87 benchmark score. Next up, we'll do the Jetstream test. As you see, Google Chrome is the winner of this particular test, benchmarking 163.29. It should be noted that Safari actually failed to run this test properly and it came back with an error. And then finally, the Peacekeeper test. The Peacekeeper test is for testing the browser's HTML5 performance. Safari is the clear winner in this particular test, benchmarking 4694, which is actually interesting because Safari is the oldest browser out of all three. The last version of iLife to support Mountain Lion was iLife 11, which was released on October 20th, 2010. However, as you see here, it works perfectly fine. The last version of iWork to support Mountain Lion is iWork 09, which was released on January 6, 2009. And again, as you see, it works perfectly fine as well. The newest version of Microsoft Office to work on Mountain Lion is Office for Mac 2011, which was released on October 26, 2010. However, as you see, it also performs just fine as well. If you love open source software and you like LibreOffice, which is basically the fork of OpenOffice, the newest version of LibreOffice works just fine on Mountain Lion. As I've pointed out in the past, I really do not like the Twitter website, and I much prefer using desktop clients instead of the website. I'm more of a fan of TweetBot, however, the newer versions of TweetBot require a much more modern version of macOS. Also, the old versions of TweetBot no longer sign into the Twitter service due to API changes on Twitter's end. However, I found that the newest version of TweetDeck works just fine under Mountain Lion, and I was able to download it from the Mac App Store. And as you see, it works perfectly. I 
I was also able to access my email using OS X's built-in mail client without a problem, and it worked just fine. Mountain Lion was the first version of OS X to incorporate Notification Center. So let's go ahead and send a test tweet using Notification Center. And as you see, it works just fine as well. And now let's try playing a video on Mountain Lion. As I said in the beginning of the video, I'm running Mountain Lion as a partition on my main MacBook Pro, which is running macOS Sierra. Because of that, Sierra's hard drive mounts on the desktop. So let's go ahead and look for a movie and see if it plays. And as you see, it works just fine using QuickTime Player. And now let's try playing a video over the network. As you see in the Finder sidebar, the machine is able to see my other MacBook Pro, which actually is running the beta release of macOS Sierra version 10.12.3. Let's go ahead and try playing one of my favorite TV shows and see if it works. And as you see, VLC Player opens, and it works just fine. And it also should be noted that the newest version of VLC Player also works just fine on Mountain Lion. I was also able to play YouTube videos without any problem at all. I was also able to play video from a local news station and it played perfectly. For some more snow to make its way back into western New York, take a look at the weather computer. Lake Effect Snow Watch is posted at Four. 7 miles per hour. Your high today 41, your low today 27 and temperatures. Next up, we're going to see if we can sync and charge my iPad mini. This is a first generation iPad mini running iOS 9. And as you see, it's able to sync and even charge and it works perfectly. This next part is really for my personal enjoyment. Earlier in the month, we had a little bit of a severe weather issue down across the Deep South. I installed an older version of RadarScope because the new version requires a much more modern version of macOS. And with the correct version of Flash Player installed, I was able to listen to NOAA weather radio streams while watching the radar using RadarScope on Mountain Lion, and it worked perfectly, as you see here. Because my MacBook Pro has a built-in super drive, meaning that it will read and write both CDs and DVDs, I decided to try playing a DVD under Mountain Lion, and as you see, DVD player opened, and it played perfectly. Okay, so I've been editing the video for a little bit over here, and uh, I just want to point out one thing too, that this entire video was produced on Mountain Lion. Uh, and as you see, I don't know if you can see behind me, I'll give you a better shot right here, that uh, I'm actually using an old version of Final Cut Pro to uh, edit this video. And the version I'm using is version 10.0.9. Uh, that is the last version of Final Cut Pro 10 to support Mountain Lion. And uh, so I'm using that to edit uh, this video in. And I also put Amadeus Pro onto here as well. And as you see right here, uh, I actually recorded the audio narration uh, for this video on Mountain Lion using Amadeus Pro and my Blue Snowball microphone. And uh, so, and it worked perfectly. Now, one thing that is hindering Mountain Lion as what hinders a lot of older versions of Mac OS X is, the, is uh, web browser support. Uh, no modern web browser supports Mountain Lion anymore. I was able to browse the web very, very efficiently under Mountain Lion. But just keep in mind, as the browsers get more and more out of date, that's going to ultimately become an issue. One note about that, though, uh, I mostly use Safari. Uh, Safari is my browser of choice. Uh, I use that on, on basically everything. Uh, that's my uh, browser of choice. And uh, even though Safari is the oldest browser on Mountain Lion, um, I... I personally found browsing websites, I personally found Safari to be just a tad bit faster. So um, I thought that was interesting. But again, you'll run into some rendering issues and some websites won't load. And I mentioned this before in previous videos that you would think with the web becoming simpler and more dumbed down for it to run on our smartphone and our tablets, 
um, you know, you would think all these old browsers would be able to run more modern websites because websites are becoming more simpler and more dumbed down uh, to run on our iPhones and iPads. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm sure there's a reason for that. There's, it's probably something to do with JavaScript. And it's actually still fairly useful, but the app support and the web browser support, that's, that's, that's waning. And uh, it's just going to continue to get worse, especially the web browsers. That's, that's going to be the big deal, is web browsers. That's ultimately what's killing off a lot of older Macs, is just due to the fact of no web browser support. So that's becoming an issue, and it will become a bigger issue um, later on down the road. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and shut my yap, so that way I can finish editing this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Techies world, hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you click on that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and check the box that says receive all notifications for this channel. Then that way you will get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also check out the website. Blog posts to all new videos are up on the website. And check out all those social media accounts. Follow them all if you'd like. I love interacting with you guys, so follow them all. And I will see you with the next tech video. Thank you for watching. I'm significant, you're missing it. Reaction to official, cause the beat is so explicit. And my dreams are now elicited. Not enough to see it. Scratch it, read it, claw it, read it. Be the first to be an animal that needs it.